Okay, getting my screen set up. <laughs> All right, looks good. Hello, everyone. I'm Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is a okay. Lolly, thank you so much. How are you? doing Mwah. thank you thank you hello everyone the green team is in the house the green team is strong all right hello air lady hello tomas yes 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 all right um lee is here hello lee saima is here hello saima hello hello well i'm really happy to see you because without you there's no reason for me to be here so Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, and um, before we do anything, we have to have a toast for good luck. Yes, we always have a toast for good luck to start. Tina, hello, Tina, Olga. Okay, so people are coming in. That's fantastic. All right, I'm doing good, Air Lady. Thank you very much. How are you doing? <laughs> Well, whatever you're drinking, please lift it, pick it up for our toast. Yes, we always have a toast for good luck to start our lesson. And we always have two toasts. Yes, two toasts. Our first toast is for the green team. Yes, they support me. They support the channel. You see their names in green. Yes, they are part of the green team. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Yes, thank you. And um, if you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump, cheers, bump, cheers. Marion, hello. All right. Well, um, because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. So bottoms up. Bottoms up. Mm. Now for our second toast. It's for you. Yes, without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, productive, and informative lesson today. Cheers, bump, cheers, bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mm. Okay, that was our toast for good luck. Yes, so hopefully good luck comes to us today. <laughs> well, now let's talk about today's plan yeah we're going to be here for two hours um it seems like a long time but it's not it goes by very very fast we're always fighting against time time is not on our side time just keeps going it moves too fast so we'll be here for two hours um we will do five activities and these are the five activities today we're going to review form a sentence we did it on tuesday and we will re review it today so form a sentence i'm going to give you a pattern and then you're going to make sentences based on the pattern then our second activity be which one is different and i'm going to give you four items and you're going to tell me of the four which one of the four is different then our third activity will be um a conversation from my book right here and actually there's like four books now yeah and so we're going to do a conversation from the red book book number two yeah and then our fourth activity will be dictation cards and the dictation cards were done by the members of the green team the members of the green team wrote the sentences so we will do dictation practice according to those cards, to the sentences done by the green team. And then our fifth, <laughs> our fifth activity will be a video about 10 very short conversations. So we will watch the video and practice the sentences in the video. So we're going to have lots of practice for you. Yeah, we're going to do lots of writing and um I'm going to ask you questions, and we're going to talk a lot together. And um, so I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. Okay, so I think we should get right into it because 
Um, we always are fighting against time. Emilio, hello Emilio, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so let's get right into our first activity, which is form a sentence. Um, Jose, I'm doing great. Thank you very much. I hope you're doing well too. All right, so our first activity, remember we're going to do five, so I'm going to keep them in order. I'm going to write number one because it's our first activity. So number one, and that is form a sentence. Okay. All right, form a sentence, and our sentence is, Umesh is here. Hello, Umesh. So the pattern is um, auxiliary verb, plus subject, plus, because we're adding to each one, right? This is building into our sentence, verb plus noun. And it will be a question. So we're going to have, um, so our pattern is a, a question sentence, all right? And let's see, so auxiliary verb. And our auxiliary verbs are, we're going to practice the, the be verbs. And so our be verbs, they tell us um, that something exists, right? Um, something exists. So exist and um, takes place. Okay, so it exists, takes place, and we will also um, do um, to have and we use that for um, experiences and um, quite like is it finished is it finished okay and then to do so let's, let's go like this. Let's make a little um, asterisk so we know we have B verbs. And so B verbs tell us that something exists, something takes place. Have, we use have to um, talk about experiences. And um, is it finished? Okay, so um, have you eaten your vegetables? Have you finished your vegetables, right? And then uh, to do and basically to do is for questions and um, for questions okay so do you like tennis do you like tomatoes okay so so these are our this is our pattern auxiliary verb subject verb noun and here are three auxiliary verbs be verbs, which is, um, for example, am, is. So, so let, let's do one example here. Auxiliary verb, um, uh, are you driving to work? Let's say that. Are, there's our auxiliary verb. Subject, so are you, let me, let me just not put the plus. Okay. Are you, subject. Driving verb to work. Our noun phrase, are you driving to work? Okay, so is it taking place? All right, so are you driving to work? Is it taking place? Are you doing it? Okay, so taking is it taking place? Are you driving to work? Um, have, how about, um, like I said, Let's, let's go like here in parentheses. Um, have you eaten your vegetables? Have is our auxiliary verb. You are subject. Eaten, our verb. And remember, we have to use the past participle 
because it's a have. Have you eaten? Have you eaten your vegetables? And here's our um, verb phrase or our noun phrase. Have you eaten your vegetables? Okay, and so we're using, um, is it finished? Is it completed? Have you eaten your vegetables? Is it completed? And then do would be for questions. And for example, um, how about does, or okay, do you play tennis? That That's easy. Okay, that's simple. Do, auxiliary verb, you, subject, play, do you play? That's our verb. And then tennis is our noun question. Do you play tennis? And it's question. Okay, so that's what we are practicing today. So, um, yeah, we can, you, you choose what you want to practice. Okay, so in the chat, go ahead and make some sentences um, based on these three auxiliary verbs. So you can use the be verbs. You can use have or do for your um, sentence, okay? So let's see your sentences. Oh, Kadeen, hello, Kadeen, hello. Okay, Samuel, hello, Samuel. So more people have come into the chat since um, I was writing on the board. And real quick, bef um, talking about the chat, now, you need to be a member to enter, or not a member, a subscriber to um, enter the chat because of, um, we had, well, it, by having only subscribers, that keeps the bots out and it keeps the spamming out. And so it makes for a, a better chat, a better experience, right? So, so if only subscribers can, enter the chat, then it, it's much smoother. It's safe place for everyone. So if you want to enter the chat, please subscribe to my channel. And I do that to keep the bots out and to keep the spamming out. Okay, so, so for the chat, only subscribers. And it's real easy to subscribe. So go ahead if you want to enter the chat to do that. Okay, Lolly's on the board. Lolly says, are you interested in learning English, yeah. So, so um, Lolly's using the um, B, right? Are you interested in learning English? Good, Lolly. Okay, Tomas is on the board. Um, are we learning English? Good, good, good. And so, <clears throat> again, that's the B verb. And is it taking place, right? Are we learning English? Is it taking place? Umesh, are you drinking water? Good, good, good. Yes, I am right here, Umesh. I have water here. And is it taking place? Are you drinking water? Is it taking place? Yes, I am. Hello, Imran. Okay, Olga, do you play the violin? So Olga used the um, do. Auxiliary verb, and it's a question, right? Do you play the violin? Very good. Lolly, have you finished your housework yet? Okay, Lolly's using the have auxiliary verb. And is it completed? Is it finished, right? Um, have you finished your homework yet? Good. Okay, Tomas, have you um, drunk your tea? So, so it should be D-D-R-U-N-K for the um, past participle. Have you drunk your tea? And so that is, is it finished? Okay, Samuel, are you watching TV? Good, Samuel is, Samuel is using the be verb. And um, is it taking place? Is it taking place? Are you um, watching TV? Good. Okay, Simon. Uh, do you like vegetables? There's a question. Jose, are you studying English? Are you? There's the ver is it taking place? Good sentences, everyone. And it's always when we, when we review from Tuesday, 
the 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 review is much better, right? Because you get better after reviewing, right? After you know, the first time is more difficult than doing it um, the second time or third time or fourth time. So that's why it's important to review for more practice. Okay, Kadeen, are you enjoying your trip? Air Lady, are you sleeping? Yeah, there's the ver B verb. Is it taking place? Um, do we learn English? There's the do question. Hello, Ava, how are you doing? Mwah. Are you married? Okay, that's our, ex like, exist, right? So our, is your, does a marriage exist for you? Okay, Marion, uh, were you drinking tea this morning? Good, good, good. There's the be verb, were. It, um, so, were you drinking tea this morning? So, um, did that exist? Ava, okay. Lolly, um, has he eaten all the pizza? Okay, we're going fast now. <laughs> now that the chat's going quickly. Okay, Air Lady, have you ever um, been to Germany? Okay, so we need um, we need the the have you we need the past participle. All right, Air Lady, for that's experience, right? Have you been to Germany? Have you been to Germany? That is for experience, right? Air Lady, Mark, I did a couple. Okay, sorry, Air Lady. It's going fast. I'm looking at the board. I can't, I can't read every sentence. I'm sorry. Okay, Umesh, have you written a letter P to PM, to the Prime Minister? Tomas, it means both. So, Tomas has a good question. Drunk is... Um, Drunk, we have two meanings for drunk, D-R-U-N-K. One meaning is you drank too much alcohol, and the other is a past participle for drink. So we have drink, drank, right, A-N-K, and drunk, which is past participle. So for example, um, okay, I'll use drink in the present form, I like to drink coffee. I like to drink coffee. I'm using it in the present tense. Um, I drank coffee yesterday. Okay, I'm using in the um, past, simple past. I drank coffee yesterday, A and K. And um, for the have, past participle, um, have you ever, I'm talking about experience, have you ever drunk green tea? All right. So those are our three forms of drink. Okay, Lolly, have you ever seen the Eiffel Tower? Good experience. Air Lady, have you ever been to Germany? Good, those are both experience have for experience. Umesh, do, okay, do you hear music? Maybe you should put that, um, okay, Umesh, do you hear music playing? Okay, do you hear music playing? That makes more sense. Olga, have you finished your project? Good, so is it completed? Yeah, so remember when we use the B, we're talking about something exists, something takes place. Have, we're talking about experiences and asking if it's finished and then do for questions, okay? So everyone's doing very well. Okay, Lolly, have you ever eaten Italian food? For experience, Saima, have you had your breakfast? Okay, for, um, is it finished? Good, so everyone is, um, I think, getting into understanding all of this very well. Um, is he playing snooker, says Marion? That's kind of a, a pool, type of pool, uh, billiards, I should say. Are you, okay, um, the, are you, Okay, have you eaten, okay, you're, you're missing a few words there, The have you eaten octopus, right? Asking about an experience. Oh, Lama's here, hello Lama, good morning. Oh, 
Experience question. Lolly asks, have you ever, Mark, have you ever eaten escargot? Yes, I like it. I like escargot, which is, in English, we say snails. Escargot is a French word for snails, and snails are very delicious. Okay, Tina, have you ever, okay, have so that the, the past participle of see is seen. Okay, Tina, have you ever seen uh, the movie called Sonic 2? It is coming tomorrow. That, I haven't seen it, but I've seen some interviews with Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is an actor, comedian, and he plays the bad guy. But um, I, have, I have not seen Sonic. I have never played the video game Sonic. Air Lady, do you like black beans very much? There's a question. Do you like? I love black beans and they are very healthy. They are a, a superfood. So you sh everyone should eat lots of beans. Okay, have you asked a question um, for Mark or to Mark? It's better to say for. Have you asked a question for Mark? Okay, Ava, do you like black coffee? Yes, of course. That's how I drink my coffee. That is how I drink my coffee. Ava, for an experience, have you ever been to the Czech Republic? No, but I would love to go. Ben, hello Ben, have you eaten seafood? Yes, I like seafood very much. <laughs> Lolly, have you ever seen Mark's videos in your life? I hope so. I hope everyone watches my videos. I hope everybody. <clears throat> okay, Simon, have you ever eaten Thai food? Yeah, Ismail, snails are delicious. <laughs> Has he been to Gifu? <laughs> Very good movie, Dumb and Dumber. That is a, a fun movie, yes, with Jim, Jim Carrey and, um, oh, I forgot the other actor's name. Samuel, have you ever had sushi? Yes, I have had. Okay, have you... Are you watching Mark's videos? I hope so. Everybody watch my videos. Ah. <laughs> um, Ava, um, do you have wake up? Okay. Have, we don't. Do you wake up early? How about that, Ava? Don't, don't have, have. Do you wake up early? Tina, do you like seeing ads? Ah, uh, no, but they're important. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I'm that's how I can I can uh, make videos is because there are ads that's why I can do um, YouTube every day that's why I can have these live streams that's why I can be here with you because um, those ads are there if no ads then I couldn't do this because I would have to find another I would have to work more. <laughs> I would have to work full time as a teacher, but because of YouTube, I can work part time as a teacher and be here with you on YouTube. Tina, I do not want to eat snails. Yeah, Lolly, that's that was a very strange thing that happened. So, Lolly. Have you, okay, that actually should be, um, did you? Because that was a one, that's not really, it's an experience, Lolly, but it happened, um, like, it, it happened, uh, how can I say, it? like, not once, but it happened a couple weeks ago, and so we can, it's best just to use the um, did did you see um, Will Smith hit the comedian, Chris Rock? So, um, not have, you could say, okay, I guess you could say, have you seen, but, but that's more like, um, 
any time, but we, a more specific time, right? It was like during the grant or no, the Oscar awards. And so it's best to say, oh, did you see? Okay. Did you wake up early? Good, good, good. Okay. Well done, everyone. I, you guys did very well. I think I'm looking at the clock. We need to um, change activities, okay? Because we got five to do, and here is just one. So we could just review this real quick. So this is our um, example. This is our sentence, our pattern, auxiliary verb, subject, verb, noun, question. And here are our three auxiliary verbs, be verbs, and we use be verbs um, when to, to express something exists, to express something is taking place. Are you driving to work? That is taking place. Um, we have, we use have to express experiences. Have you ever eaten sushi? Um, to express if something is finished. Have you eaten your vegetables? Are you finished eating your vegetables? And then do is for questions. Um, do you play tennis, right? So I'm asking you, um, do you play tennis? Okay, good, 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 good. Um, okay, Ben asks, how about WH questions? Y yeah, so WH, um, what, when, where, right? And, and, but it's, we're using this form right now. And so um, when, where, what are not auxiliary auxiliary verbs auxiliary verbs so today we're talking about auxiliary verbs but um if you just want to like but then we need like um it's the the pattern is different the ben the pattern is different but we will um we've done those patterns in the past wh questions and we will do those again in the future okay but today this is what we have practiced but next week we'll do something different okay so well done, everyone. So I think it's time to move on to our second activity. Activity number two. Which one is different? Which one is different? And actually, today I will take a picture of the whiteboard and put it on my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice. So you can check it out anytime you want. So if you want to um, have another look, if you want to um, practice, this pattern with these auxiliary verbs, just go to my Facebook group page, Mark Kulik English Speaking Practice, and you will see it. When we finish, I will take a picture and upload it today, later today, okay? So um, don't worry if, you, if you're not sure exactly how to use this pattern, you can um, check it out later. Okay, so let's go to activity number two. Which one is different? So number two is, which one is different? Okay, are we on the board there? Okay, on the screen. Which one is different? And I always give this example. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. Red, blue, bicycle, pink. Which one is different? Yes. <clears throat> Bicycle is different because it's a form of transportation. Yeah, so, so for example, red, blue, pink, those are colors, right? Purple, white, black, yellow, brown, red, orange, maroon, gray. Those are colors. And then we have bicycle, car, bus, taxi, train, subway, those are forms of transportation, right? So bicycle is not a color, it's transportation. The other three are colors. These three go together. Bicycle is different. So that's how we do it. And we have a worksheet. And actually, I posted this worksheet on my YouTube homepage and you go to community and there you will see it you can download it for yourself also <clears throat> I have many many of these worksheets on my patreon page 
So um, if you want that, that's another way to um, support me in the channel. Also, I have a website, markkulik.com, with flashcards and worksheets that go with my videos. So all the links are below. And the link to this is also below, the link to my YouTube homepage and um, you go to the community page, but you can get the link and it'll take you right there. But don't worry, I will put the worksheet on the screen so you will see it very clearly. I'll, I'll enlarge it, I'll make it full size so you can see everything very clearly. All right, here we go. Oh, okay, Air Lady, hold on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I, let, let's, let's do this together. Let's do this together, everyone. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the worksheet on the screen. So here we go, there it is. Remember, you can, you can get the worksheet right here, these places, yeah. Okay, let's make it larger, larger, larger. Oh, it's full screen. And our topic is hero, hero, okay? And we have two groups of keywords. So group one keywords are a bouquet, a medal, thumbs up, a movie camera. Okay, one more, one more time. A bouquet, a medal, thumbs up, a movie camera. Which one? is different. A bouquet, a medal, thumbs up, a movie camera. Which one is different and why? Okay, Air Lady says, I think a bouquet because it's the only natural thing. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, Air Lady, we're doing group one keywords right now. Okay. Uh, Tina, Tina's looking for, looking forward to the movie Sonic. Because maybe she likes playing that video game. <laughs> okay, Katie, I think a bouquet because it doesn't have a long life. Good. Ava, thumbs up because, thumbs up because I can do, oh, because everyone can do it. Good, okay, Ava, thumbs up because everyone can do it. Okay, yeah, Air Lady, I like that sentence. You had, I liked that sentence, your sentence about, um, it's the only natural one. That's a good sentence, Air Lady. All right. Um, Lolly, a bouquet because women like flowers. Good. Tomas, I think a movie camera. A movie camera because it is for making something the others you get for something. Okay. Yeah, very good, Tomas. So, so Tomas is saying that, um, you know, a movie camera, you, you make movies you shoot movies, right? Um, and so you're doing it, right? Where, where a bouquet you receive, a medal you receive, and a thumbs up you receive. Very good, Tomas. But a movie camera, you know, you're doing it. The others you're receiving. Okay, Kadeen, I think a medal because it's a prize. Very good. Ava, a movie camera because it uses electricity. Very good. It uses electricity. Lolly, a medal because it's for the champion. Or you could say it's for the winner. I think that's better to say it's for the winner. So the winner receives a medal. But then after you become the champion, right? So, so first you receive the medal and then you become the champion. Okay, Umesh. A bouquet because it's in a bunch. Good, it's in a bunch, so more than one, and they're 
together, right? So a bunch of flowers, the flowers are together or tied together. Tina, um, wait, what do you know? I did play the video game. It's hard, but it was easy. <laughs> yeah, so I, of course I know, I live in Japan, Tina. So, so Sonic is a, um, is it Nintendo? And so, um, so of course I see the, the character, the hedgehog everywhere. But I don't have, I have never played the video game, but I see the character hedgehog around Japan. Marion, I think a movie camera because it's not, okay, the winner doesn't receive one. How about that, Marion? I think a movie camera because uh, uh, the winner does not receive one. The winner does not receive one. Right, you win something and like a, a tennis tournament and you receive flowers, a bouquet of flowers, you receive a medal and everyone gives you the thumbs up. So very good. Samuel, um, thumbs up is different because you can do it whenever you want, yes. Lolly, a movie camera because you need power to use it, yes. Like electricity or batteries. You need electrical power, you need um, battery power. Lee, I think a medal because it's for a winner. Good. Lolly, a medal is for the winner. Anisha, hello Anisha. I think a medal because it's for the winner. Lolly, um, uh, we don't need a uh, because we have thumbs. So thumbs up. So no a uh, Lolly, just only thumbs up because you put it under Mark's video. Oh, very kind of you. Mwah. Thank you, Lolly. I love you. Mwah. Umesh, a movie camera because it has, it has powerful lenses. Very good. Tomas, the bouquet because it's a living thing. It's a living thing. Best gamer. I think a bouquet because the movie camera records and the director thumbs up and the director gives the actor a medal. Okay, best gamer. Okay, Marion, Lolly a bouquet because it smells good. Ava a medal because it make it's made from gold and other materials. Ava, a medal because it's made from gold and other materials. Okay, Tina, a movie camera because it has new move. Okay, it can make. Okay, Tina, a movie camera because it can make new movies. A movie camera because it can make new movies. Good, 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 good. Olga, a metal because it can be gold, silver, and bronze. Simon, a bouquet because it makes you happy. Lots of great sentences, everyone. Many, many. All right, let's, okay, good job. I'm looking, let's go to number two, keywords for number two, okay? So um, group two keywords, let's do that. For a sec here, Lolly says, a movie camera because Mark needs it for his live lessons. Yes, right there. There's my camera. <laughs> okay, let's go to group two keywords, shall we? Here they are. A secret agent, an astronaut, a knight, and a soldier. Which one is different and why? Group two keywords, a secret agent, an astronaut, a knight, a soldier. Which one is different and why? A secret agent, an astronaut, a knight, a soldier, which one is different and why? <laughs> Katie, I think thumbs up because it's easier to do. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, uh, Anola, hello. Okay, Marion, I think an astronaut because 
He's not a warrior. Very good. Saima, a movie camera because you can capture memorable moments. Yes, that's what's the power of the movie camera. Saima, good. Okay, Tomas says a knife because it is ancient. Lolly, a secret agent because he doesn't have to wear a special uniform. Yeah. So he doesn't, does not. Umesh, an astronaut because he works in space. Very good. Everybody understands how to do these sentences. Very good. Anisha, I think as an astronaut because he can go into space. Go into space. Samuel, a knight is different because it is a warrior. Umesh, a secret agent reveals a secret. <laughs> or a secret agent tries to find a secret. Yeah. Lolly, a knight. Because he was a soldier in the Middle Ages. Yes. Middle Ages. You need that S there. Okay. Fabian. Hola. <laughs> no Nintendo. <laughs> it's okay. Um, Fabian, just go. Just do your best, Fabian. Do your best. It's okay. Just, just whatever you can do, do it. If it's one word, that's okay. If it's two words, that's okay. Just, you know, do your best. Just practice. We're all here, Fabian, to practice. Ava, an astronaut because he wears a special uniform. Air Lady. Okay, one more time, Air Lady. So, Air Lady, everyone, that's okay. Don't don't worry about. A lot of times, Air Lady, people write the same um, sentence because they're thinking the same thing. So, no one's. It's not bad. It's just everyone um, has the same idea. So, some people have the same idea. Some people don't. It's it's not a um, it's not a bad thing. Okay, Tina, I think an astronaut because it explores everything in space. And I want to be an astronaut. Okay, Tina, good luck. Good luck, Tina. Best gamer. Um, I think an astronaut because the astronaut doesn't work on Earth. Okay, best gamer. An astronaut does not work on Earth. No, an astronaut works in space, that's right. Tomas, an astronaut because it does its work in space, not on Earth. Good. Kadeen, I think a secret agent because it doesn't need special clothing. So we need, we, Kadeen, we don't need us. So I think a secret agent because um, it doesn't need special clothing. Or actually, it, we should say he or she, okay? So I think that's better. Um, it, because secret agent is a person, but a secret agent can be a man or a woman. So um, it's better to say, I think a secret agent because, or how about, you could say they, right? So they could be both men and women. So Katie, I think a secret agent because they don't need special clothing. They don't need special clothing. Lolly, an astronaut because he leaves the earth. Fabian, poquito. <laughs> poquito. Uh, Ava, a knight because he has a horse. Good. Air Lady, write your sentence, please. I want to see your sentence. Lolly, an astronaut because he can reach the moon. He or she, right? So we have women astronauts and men astronauts. So Lolly, an astronaut because he or she. 
can reach the moon. Umesh, a soldier, because um, he or she has a machine gun. So again, a soldier could be a woman these days, right? So he or she. Lady in heaven, hello. Nemo, I think an astronaut because they are very knowledgeable about the universe. Yes, Nemo, very good. And Nemo used they. So um, they, which is can be a man or a woman. Okay, Tina, a secret agent because um, he or she, or we could say they, how about that, they, Tina, a secret agent because they know all your secrets. <laughs> and I want to be a secret agent too. Okay, Tina, yes, you can be an astronaut and a secret agent. Sure, why not? Air Lady, I think a secret agent because they only, oh, they are the only ones without a uniform. Okay, Air Lady, I think a secret agent because they are the only ones without a uniform. They are the only ones without a uniform. Lolly, a soldier because he or she always carries a weapon. Or how about they? A soldier because they always carry a weapon. They always carry a weapon. Hello, lady of heaven. Okay. Yeah, Fabian, it's okay. It's okay. Just do your best. Try. So, um, Fabian, we have four four things. Yeah, four people. <laughs> people, this one people. So we have a secret agent, we have an astronaut, we have a knight, and a soldier. Of the four people, which one is different? All right, so just Fabian, one word's okay. What do you think? A soldier, do you think a knight? Do you think an astronaut? astronaut or do you think a secret agent? Okay, Olga, an astronaut, because they explore space and they need special food. Good, so let's use they. All right, everyone, so all of these people can be men or women, right? So a secret agent can be a man or a woman. An astronaut can be a man or a woman. A knight, that's usually just a man. Yeah, so a, a knight, those are back, that was back in the Middle Ages. So I don't think there was women, maybe there were. Like actually, uh, Joan of Arc, wasn't she like a warrior? So anyway, so maybe, you know, there were, perhaps there are women too. And a soldier, of course, is a man or woman. So let's use they, T-H-E-Y. Okay. Best gamer, I think a knight because they are the only ones that ride a horse. They are the only ones that ride a horse. I'm doing good, lady of heaven. Okay, yeah, um, Fabian, I'm not sure how to answer you because I understand some Japanese, I mean, <laughs> Spanish, but... Um, I don't understand all of your sentence. I'm sorry. So, so, okay, yes, yeah, so Tomas asks, um, what can we say instead of he or she? And we can say they, T-H-E-Y. We can say they. And so if we use they, it can be either a man or a woman. Kayleen, I think a knight, because they were, they, they were, they were, or how can we, okay, so how can we say, um, so Kayleen, I think a knight, because they were from a long time ago. They were from a long time ago. They were from a long time ago. 
they were from a long time ago. Okay, Lolly, a secret agent because their life is so exciting, I think. Their life is so exciting. Air Lady, I think a secret agent because they are the only ones without a uniform. They are the only ones without a uniform. They are the only ones or the they are the only one without a uniform. I'll write that in the chat, Air Lady. They are the only one without a uniform. They are the only one without a uniform. Okay, good, good, good. Felipe. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, Felipe. Um, English is difficult to learn. Okay. Dif yeah. So, yeah. For sure, it's difficult. <laughs> but, like, but, um, Fabi Fabian, yeah. So, Fabian, just, it's difficult and, um, just, just, all you can do is do your best to do a little at a time. And um, Felipe, thank you for helping me with um, the Spanish. Thank you. So, um, muy difficult. <laughs> so, yeah, it, it's difficult. Just, just one, one step at a time. You can say just small steps. Just take, take small steps and then you will, you will get there. It just takes time. And just take take steps. Okay, we gotta change, everyone. We gotta change. I'm looking at the clock. We're out of time. I'll be back tomorrow. We will review tomorrow. Okay, so we will look at the worksheet one more time tomorrow. Okay, we will um, look at it. We will practice. We will review it tomorrow. Okay. So that's right. Thank, thank you, Felipe. One step at a time, right? For sure. Yeah. So, um, Fabian. Fabian, one step at a time. Little steps, little steps. Look at um, Felipe. He's going to help you. Felipe is going to help you, Fabian. <laughs> thank you, Felipe. I appreciate it. Yeah, we're all here learning together. We're all here doing our best. And oh, Marwa, um, what is a knight? So, okay, good question, some people. So in the Middle Ages, right? So we're talking, um, we're, we're talking, I don't know, a thousand years ago, um, we had knights and they were then like a, a, a soldier. Right, so before a soldier, like today's soldier, you know, guns and you know, they're wearing the green camouflage and they, they, they fight wars, a soldier. Before soldiers, there were knights and they had armor so that they're protected by armor, by steel, and they rode horses and they, no guns, right? This is before guns. They used, um, they used, uh, what are those called? Like, like um, javelins. They used like javelins and and swords and axes. So before guns, before before guns, um, there were knights. And so a knight was like a a a soldier. Okay, Leonardo. Hello. Good evening. Good to see you. Good. So there so Tomas says a knight is an ancient soldier who sat on a horse. Yeah. So so knights got around and they fought on horses. Okay, so let we will review this tomorrow. Okay, so don't worry. We will review it tomorrow. Okay, so it's time to go to our next activity. All right. So um 
There is the worksheet. Bye bye worksheet. We will do it tomorrow. And you can you can get your own worksheet. There's a description for it in the links below. It's on my YouTube homepage under community, community tab, and you will see it there and you can get it for yourself. Okay, here we go. Number three, let's do a conversation from the book, from one of my books. We're gonna do book two, conversation number 19. Conversation 19. No, not page 19, conversation 19. There it is. There's conversation 19. We're gonna do that. Let me write that on the board. And we're gonna, I'll write the conversation on the board so we can do it together. So number three is conversation. Okay, so we're going to do a couple steps. <clears throat> First, I'm going to read you the conversation. So I want you to listen carefully. And then I will write it on the board. And then we will practice it together. Okay, so here we go. Step one, please listen carefully. Okay, so I'm going to read it to you. So, so listen carefully and... Um, here we go. Let's count down to conversation time. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. What are you doing? Fighting. Stop it. I didn't start it. I don't care who started it. Just stop. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll do it one more time. What are you doing? Fighting. Stop it. I didn't start it. I don't care who started it. Just stop. Okay. <laughs> One more time. Here we go. Three is a, a charm. Yeah. Here we go. What are you doing? Fighting. Stop it. I didn't start it. I don't care who started it. Just stop. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, that was the conversation. Now I'm going to write it on the board so we can practice it together. And of course, we're going to um, practice pronunciation. Speed will go slowly and quickly. We'll, we will say the sentence quickly and we will say it slowly and of course talk about the meaning okay so i'm going to write the conversation on the board right now here we go okay what are you doing Uh, I don't, that's a bad, that's hard to read. So let me do it better. What are you doing? Okay, a little bit better, a little bit. <laughs> okay, B says fighting. A says stop it. And then B says, I didn't start it. I didn't start it. A says, I don't care who started it, just stop. I don't care who started it 
just stop. Okay. And then B says, okay. Okay, there's our conversation. A, B, A, B, A, B. And I will show you the... Oh, um, Best Gamer asks, can I buy your books for, from Dubai? I'm not, do you get Amazon.com? So the link is in the descriptions and you could check out the the link and um, if you can or can I don't know but um, the books are sold through amazon.com so um, go to the link and check it out okay thank you best gamer all right here is there's the picture there's the conversation so it starts out what are you doing fighting and then it continues down here so I wrote on the board so you can see it. We can do it together. All right. So let's let's do it together, okay? And um, we will go over pronunciation. We will say it slowly. We will say it quickly, okay? And then we'll talk about the meaning. All right, so here we go. Let's practice. What are you doing? 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 Fighting. <laughs> fighting, 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 fighting. Stop it. 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 I didn't start 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 it. I don't care who started it. Just stop. I don't care who started it. Just stop. I don't care who started it. Just stop. I don't care who started it, just stop. I don't care who started it, just stop. I don't care who started it, just stop. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I don't care who started it, who started it, who started it, who started it, who started it. I don't care who started it, just stop, just stop, just stop, just stop. I don't care who started it, 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 just stop. Stop. Okay. 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 <laughs> this is this is a tough sentence. Yeah. I don't care who started it. Just stop. I don't care who started it. Just stop. Okay. Good. That was pronunciation, and we went slowly. We went quickly. Now let's talk about the meaning. So, uh, what are you doing, right? So, you're asking a question. So, here are the two boys. Okay, asking a question. Actually, we're doing the, the there's the um, question, do, auxiliary verb, do. Um, what are you doing, right? I'm asking a question. What are you doing? And um, the boy said, fighting. So, fighting. They are hitting each other. So when you fight, you can you can um, have an argument. An argument is when you're you're um, speaking in um, in an aggressive way. You're speaking aggressively. You are angry, and so you're arguing. So you're you're talking and you're angry and you're talking. That's arguing. Fighting 
is when you're physically touching, right? So you punch or you, you slap, you, you push. So you're fighting, meaning you're touching each other. Arguing, you're just talking, but fighting, you're, you're hitting each other. There's, there's contact. Your, your, your bodies are touching, okay? So what are you doing? Fighting. Stop it, right? Don't fight. Stop. Don't do it anymore. Stop it. And it is fighting. Stop fighting. Stop fighting. Stop it. Stop fighting. Stop it. Stop it. It is fighting. I, I didn't start it. I didn't start it. So, so start a fight. Who begins, right? Who, who is the first person to, to be angry? Who is the first person to hit? Who is the first person to punch? Who is the first person to push? So the first person to push maybe starts it, right? So right, who, you know, who's the person who started the fight? And B says, I didn't start it. So the other boy maybe pushed him. The other boy hit him. The other boy started the fight. So B says, I didn't start it. It's not my fault, right? I didn't cause the fight. I didn't do anything, maybe. The other boy pushed, and so the other boy started the fight. Um, I don't care who started it, just stop. I don't care who started it, just stop. I don't care. I don't care. So. Uh, it, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. I, I, I don't want to hear who started the fight, who pushed, who began the fight. I don't care. I want you to stop. The, 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 the most important thing, what matters is to stop. Just stop. It doesn't matter. It, it, it means nothing who started it? Just stop fighting. I don't care who started it. Just stop. And then the boy says, okay. <laughs> All right. So um, let's, let's do it together. Okay. Let's role play. Let's do it together. All right. So um, I will be A and you will be B. A, B, A, B. Oh, Lolly asked me... Um, do your daughters fight sometimes? Uh, yeah, not, not, they used to fight more, but not so much now. They're getting a little older. Yeah, but sometimes, yeah, they have arguments, right? They don't, they don't punch. They don't fight. You know, they don't um, punch each other. They don't hit each other. But, you know, they'll argue, you know, their voice, they'll, they'll talk to each other in a, um, in an aggressive way or, unkind way. Felipe, Will, Will and Chris were not fighting. No, no, because, because Chris did not do anything. Yeah. So Will slapped Chris and then that was it. It finished. So it was not a fight. A fight takes two people. Two people um, need to fight. To have a fight. To have a fight both people need to be doing it. Okay, let's do it together. Let's role play. I will be A, 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 and you will be B, 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 B. So I'm going to say A and you say B, okay? So we will role play. We will uh, do it together. Okay, here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. What are you doing? Stop it. I don't care who started it, just stop. <laughs> stop, no fighting, don't do it. <laughs> it's not good. Okay, good, let's do it for the second time, okay? You are A, I am B. Here we go, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. What are you doing? Stop it. I don't care who started it, just stop. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Right? Three's a charm. Okay, too fast. Okay, Tina. 
Thank you for telling me, Tina. Thank you. Now, right, so if I'm going too fast, please tell me, everyone. So thank you, Tina. So I will go slower. Okay, sorry, Tina. Here we go. Countdown. Third time is a charm. Five, four, three, two, one. What are you doing? Stop it. I don't care who started it. Just stop. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for stopping. <laughs> All right. Now let's switch. Yeah. So you are A, I am B, A, B, A, B. You are A, 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 A. I am B, 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 B. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Fighting. I didn't start it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Okay, here we go. Second time. You are A, I am B. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Fighting. I didn't start it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I will stop. <laughs> okay, here we go. Three's a charm. You are A, I am B. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Go. Fighting. I didn't start it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good, Tina. All right, Tina. Good. Okay. Yeah. No, Tina, you should be um, speaking it. Yep. That's right. So it's best if you can just remember the sentence and say it, right? That's best. Okay. Good job. That was the conversation right here. Conversation. Now, Let's go to activity number four. That is dictation cards. All right, so activity number four is dictation practice. Yeah, and let me write number four. We're running out of space on the whiteboard. Number four, dictation. That means you need a pencil and paper because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. And our topic or the, the, the key word is dumb. Dumb. Okay, and dumb means stupid, stupid. Okay, so we're gonna practice dumb which means stupid, and we're going to do four steps, yeah? Step one, dictation. So I'm going to read a sentence, and I want you to listen and write down what I say, word for word, but you're not going to see the sentence, no. You're not going to see the picture, no. You're going to purely just listen and write, okay? So it's a challenge, but you know, that's why you're here. We're here to learn and to challenge ourselves. Okay, then step two is shadowing. So shadowing is speaking practice. So step one is listening and writing. Step two is listening and speaking. Then step three, we'll talk about the meaning. All right, what, what does the sentence mean like we talked about this conversation we talked about the meaning so that's what we'll do with the cards and then step four we will have a quiz quiz number four step four is a quiz all right so there there are the four steps to success four steps to success and we have Oh, are the sentences long? Some of them are long. Some of them are short. We have a mixture, Felipe. No, no, no. Um, who was that? That was uh, Umesh.
Yeah, Air Lady. So Air Lady says Americans use um, the word dumb too much. So of course, it's not a, a good word. I mean, um, yeah, so, so Air Lady says I don't like the word dumb. So many people, but it's, it's, you know, it's good to know and it's good to be able to use it. So yeah, so you have to like be careful when you use the word dumb. You have to be careful. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have eight cards. And today's cards are from Miley, Sonara, Fabricio, Lolly, Ava, Rita, Mark, Marion. Okay, so those are the people who made the sentence today. And they are part of the green team. The supporters. We have a few people here. We have Ava. Ava did one, one sentence. Marion did a sentence, and Lolly did a sentence. The other people are not here today. Okay, Lolly has pencil and paper ready. Good, 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 good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So Tina, don't don't type it. Just just write it on a piece of paper. Okay, here we go. Dictation, please listen and write. Here we go. Countdown to dictation practice. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Card number one. I was dumb once. I won't be the second time. Here we go, second time. I was dumb once. I won't be the second time. Okay, here we go, third time. I was dumb once. I won't be the second time. Okay, Marion. <laughs> Felipe. I I know like I know Spanish for you know stupid, right? El stupido. <laughs> I don't know my uh I live in Japan, so I, I don't hear Spanish anymore oh, okay Tina Mwah. good luck on your paper bye Tina good luck yeah okay get to your paper do your homework Tina do your homework okay here we go card number two card number two is Mr. Bean on the TV show, dumb or a genius? Second time, is Mr. Bean on the TV show, dumb or a genius? Okay, good, Tina. Mwah. I thought you said you had to write your report. Okay, good, Tina. <laughs> so in Japanese, dumb means baka. So in Japanese, it's baka. And in Spanish, estupido. Okay, third time. Is Mr. Bean on the TV show dumb 
or a genius. Very good. I like that sentence. I like Mr. Bean. I like the TV show Mr. Bean. Okay, card number three. I don't like making dumb mistakes. Good, Air Lady. Yeah, you are correct, uh, Air Lady. You are. Correct. I don't like making dumb mistakes. Oh no, Tina. Oh no, Tina. <laughs> Tina doesn't like Mr. Bean. Here we go, third time. I don't like making dumb mistakes. Okay, here we go. Card number four. Number four. Don't play dumb with me. Don't play dumb with me. Third time, don't play dumb with me. All right, and we'll talk about the meaning after, okay? So if you don't understand some of the meanings, like don't play dumb with me, we'll talk about the meanings, okay? But right now we're just listening and writing. We're doing dictation. Number five, card number five, I made a dumb mistake, but it's not the end of the world. Oh no, Tina. <laughs> That's funny, Tina. My girls love Mr. Bean. Here we go, second time. I made a dumb mistake, but it's not the end of the world. Third time. I made a dumb mistake, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, great. So Felipe is telling the meaning in Spanish. That's good for the Spanish speakers. Okay, here we go. Number six. Card number six. We live in an era of smart bombs, but the rulers have remained dumb. Second time. We live in an era of smart bombs, but the rulers have remained dumb. We live in an era of smart bombs, but 
the rulers have remained dumb. That's a very long sentence. Okay, Tomas. Okay, so th that was a very difficult sentence. So just do your best. You know, th that's actually a great way. You know, like, like not give up. Just um, write down what you, you think or what you can remember. Because you're going to see the sentence, um, right? We're going to shadow the sentence. So, um, you know, just that was long and difficult and just do what you, you can and, you know, that's how we get better. Yeah. Yeah, Heidi. So, so yeah, so just do what you can and, and don't worry. <laughs> it's not the end of the world, right? It's not the end of the world. Okay, here we go. Number seven, everyone. Number seven. I can't believe you were dumb enough to lose your car in the parking lot. Okay, one more. There's two long ones. So just, just do your best, right? This is, the last one's a short one. This one's a long one. So uh, long sentence, long sentence, short sentence. Okay, so <laughs> here we go. Second time. I can't believe you were dumb enough to lose your car in the parking lot. Yeah, Tomas, so you'll see the sentence. So right now, it's hard, right? Because you can't see, you're just listening. So it's hard, it's hard. But the important thing is to try. That's the important thing, try. Here we go, third time. I can't believe you were dumb enough to lose your car in the parking lot. Okay, YouTube is hiding all these sentences because of dumb. So YouTube blocks words. So all these sentences are being blocked. Yeah, they're all being blocked right now. So if you say bad words on YouTube, right, in the chat, it'll be blocked. And so right now, uh, they're blocking these. So YouTube does not like the word dumb. Okay, here we go. Last card, number one. Yeah, so they're, so all these sentences are being, not blocked, but hidden. I shouldn't, not blocked, but hidden. So I have to, I have to put show, show, show. So that's what I'm doing right now in the, in the chat. Your sentences are being um, hidden. So I have to, Push, show, 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 show. Okay, here we go. Last card, number eight. That's a dumb idea. <laughs> That's a dumb idea. That's a dumb idea. Okay, that was dictation. So let's check it off. Now it's time to shadow and talk about the meaning, all right? So we're gonna practice speaking, not writing, but speaking. I will, we will shadow each card three times. You will not see the sentence. You will not see the picture. You'll just purely listen and speak. 
Then after you, <laughs> then after you do it three times, I will show you the sentence and we will talk about the meaning. Okay, so here we go. Shadow and meaning together. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. <clears throat> I was dumb once. I won't be dumb the sec. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. Boop. My mistake. Here we go. I was dumb once. I won't be the second time. I was dumb once. I won't be the second time. I was dumb once. I won't be the second time. This is Marion. I was dumb once. I won't be the second time. So <clears throat> this means, so Marion's not going to repeat the mistake, right? So we all make mistakes, but the important thing is not to do it again, right? So <clears throat> don't repeat your mistakes. So that's why I say it's important, like, you know, when you're writing a sentence, you make a mistake, we'll fix it, right? And that's how we learn and you won't do it again. So the important thing is to fix your mistake. So, right? I was dumb once, I won't be the second time. So I will not repeat that mistake. Okay, number, card number two, here we go. Is Mr. Bean on the TV show dumb or a genius? Is Mr. Bean on the TV show dumb or a genius? Is Mr. Bean on the TV show dumb or a genius? <laughs> Good job, Marion. Okay, this is Rita, Rita's card, Rita's sentence. Is Mr. Bean on the TV show dumb or a genius? Yes, that's the question. Actually, I think Mr. Bean is autistic. I think in the TV show he is autistic. So that means, um, well, like what he does, he, he, he appears, right? He, 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 he has difficulty communicating with people, right? So Mr. Bean has difficulty connecting with people, understanding people, but he is very, very smart, right? He can do um, genius things, but he can't do everyday things, right? Like simple everyday things, he has difficulty he has difficulty communicating with people, understanding people, but he's very, very, very smart. So that's autism. So he's autistic, I think. Is Mr. Bean on the TV show dumb or a genius? Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, this is old. He's weird. <laughs> it says love. I, 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 I think it, the show is very funny. I, I. But you're right, he is weird, Lolly. Strange Mr. Bean. <laughs> Here we go, number three, card number three. I don't like making dumb mistakes. I don't like making dumb mistakes. I don't like making dumb mistakes. This is Ava's card. I don't like making dumb mistakes. I know, I'm always doing that. I'm always making dumb mistakes and I don't like it. No, I don't like it, but that I do it often, so. I understand, Ava, me too. I don't like making dumb mistakes, but I do <laughs> often. Here we go, number four, card number four. Don't play dumb with me. Don't play dumb with me. Don't play dumb with me. So this is Lolly's sentence. Don't play dumb with me. So play dumb with, that means, let's say you, you did something bad, right? And then you go, oh, I didn't, what did I do? I don't know, right? You're playing dumb, like, oh, I don't know. Like, for example, um, who ate all the cookies? So let's say um, you made cookies, right? And 
uh, you know, you you made a uh, you made a a batch of chocolate chip cookies. So you made a batch of chocolate chip cookies, and then you know after you finish, you took them out of the oven. They're they're sitting in the kitchen on the countertop cooling, and they go, okay, oh, I'm gonna go to the market to buy some milk because I want milk with the chocolate chip cookies. I love milk and chocolate chip cookies. So, so you go to the store to get milk and then maybe your, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, your whoever, your brother, sister, your parents, whoever, your friend goes into the kitchen. Oh, look at all the cookies. Oh, they smell good. And eats the cookies and they're all gone. And, and then, so, and then you come back from the market, oh, no cookies, where are the cookies? And then you ask your, your brother, where are my cookies? And your brother goes, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> but actually your brother ate all the cookies, so he is playing dumb, right? So your brother is playing dumb, like, I don't know any cookies, I don't know what happened. So he's playing dumb. So don't play dumb with me. Good. Oh, Air Lady says, um, why why do Americans use slang? So actually, that's an interesting question. So Air Lady asks about why um, people use slang, and so slang is like a a, a colloquial or a, the word means they change the original meaning, right? So, so uh, people change the original meaning of the word, and so that's slang. So, um, and and so maybe young people use slang, so the older people don't understand, right? So, like young people be talking to each other, and they're using slang. And so the older people, maybe teachers, mothers, fathers, parents, older people don't understand what the younger people are saying. So um, younger people, people uh, use slang, so other people don't understand. So like, oh, they're a group, you know, so a group of, of friends, maybe they have their own words, uh, they've changed the meaning, so they're using slang, where other groups don't understand. Only that group can understand. So that's the reason, yeah. Okay, here we go. Number five, card number five. I made a dumb mistake, but it's not the end of the world. I made a dumb mistake, but it's not the end of the world. I made a dumb mistake, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, Fabricio, this is Fabricio's sentence. I made a dumb mistake, but it's not the end of the world. That's right. So there's also, we have another term, don't cry over spilt milk, right? Don't cry over spilt milk. So. It's okay, don't worry, it's only milk. You spilled milk, we can clean it, right? It's not a problem. Everybody makes mistakes. And so, right, so Fabrizio says, I made a dumb mistake, but it's not the end of the world. So I, I got it wrong, but hey, life goes on and don't worry about those little mistakes. So don't worry, it, it's, it's only a mistake. Everybody does it, it's not the end of the world. So don't, don't, don't be, don't be hard on yourself. I, I do that and I feel, oh, why did I do that mistake? Uh, and I get angry at myself, right? But it's not the end of the world and we learn from mistakes, right? So, you know, if, if you notice a mistake, <clears throat> you fix it and you will hopefully won't do it again, right? So. We learn from mistakes. Yes, everyone learns from mistakes. Okay, here we go. Card number six. We live in an era of smart bombs, but 
the rulers have remained dumb. We live in an era of smart bombs, but the rulers have remained dumb. We live in an era of smart bombs, but the rulers have remained dumb. <clears throat> this is Miley's sentence. We live in an era of smart bombs, but the rulers have remained dumb. Yeah, this is very true, Miley. <clears throat> so in war, right, the weapons are getting more and more sophisticated, right? The, the um, weaponry, high-tech weapons, supersonic weapons. But the people who decide, you know, the, the, the military, you know, they do dumb mistakes. They, they have dumb ideas. And so people die because of these rulers. So I, I agree with Miley. I agree with this. Yeah, so we live in an era. Era means time, right? Today, this era of um, smart bombs. So we live in an era of high tech, right? Technology, drones and, and AI and robots and, you know, faster missiles and, and supersonic bombs and supersonic missiles. But, but people are not... So the technology is going up and people are still just the same. So it's not matching, right? So it's not like the technology is getting smarter and the people are getting smarter. No. So the technology is getting smarter, but the leaders are just staying the same. So it's not good. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Here we go. Number seven. Card number seven. Oh, Air Lady, that's right. So you don't understand, me too, because we're getting older. So the younger people have their slang, so we don't understand. That's the nature, right? So as we get older, we, oh, I don't understand kids today. These kids, I don't understand, right? That's, and when you are young, you are using slang, right? When you are a, a, a girl, young, with your friends, you use slang, and your parents didn't understand. That's just the nature. <laughs> That's how it goes. Okay, here we go. Number seven. I can't believe you were dumb enough to lose your car in the parking lot. I can't believe you were dumb enough to lose your car in the parking lot. I can't believe you were dumb enough to lose your car in the parking lot. This is Sonara. I can't believe you were dumb enough to lose your car in the parking lot. All right. So actually, I've done this before. Yeah. Like I parked my car and I've, I can't, I forgot where I parked my car. Like, oh, where did I park it? Because it all looks the same. All the cars look the same. And now I can't find it. And especially like, in, in um, like car garages, you know, there's, there's different levels of, so a parking garage and, and there's different levels. And so, okay, which level did I park? Level two, level four, right? And so um, I think it's easy to lose your car in the parking lot. <laughs> I, I think it's easy to do that because I've done it. <laughs> okay, here we go, number eight, last card. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, last card. That's a dumb idea. That's a dumb idea. That's a dumb idea. Here we go. Yeah, there's, that's a dumb idea. So this guy, that's not very smart. No, 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 no. That is a dumb idea because He's going to fall down. He's going to hurt himself. He's going to hurt himself. That is a dumb idea. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, good job, everyone. That was shattering and meaning. So let's check it off. Check it, check it. All right. Now, it's time for the quiz. Yes, it's quiz time. So what I'm going to do 
<laughs> yeah, Tina. That is not a good idea, no. Because he's just going to... He's just going to fall down and hurt himself. Okay, so what we're going to do now for the quiz, I'm shuffling the card so we don't know card one. We don't know card two. We won't know card three. And then, after, okay, I'm going to stop shuffling. I'm going to choose three cards from the top. I'm going to cover the sentence. Please write the sentence just looking at the picture. Okay, so here we go. Number one, big challenge time. That's right, Ava says big challenge time. Here we go. Card number one, this is Marion's card. What is the sentence? Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember the sentence? Okay, Tina, don't worry, no problem. Marion, I was dumb once, I won't be the second time. Okay, Tina, no problem. Yeah, that, that's the hardest thing, right? Remember these sentences. That's the hardest part. That's why it's the challenge, it's the quiz, because it's the most difficult. Once, I've done many dumb things, Tomas. That's good, you only did one, you just, once. Okay. Yeah, so Tina goofing around. So everyone look at Tina's work, goofing around. So that is like not being serious, um, playing, uh, being a fool, being foolish, and so a lot of times um, we'll we'll do a, a dumb mistake by fooling around. So not concentrating, not not thinking clearly, um, acting silly, acting foolish. That's when we make uh, mistakes. So good, good, Tina. Yeah. So that's I think happens most people, right? When they're goofing around, they make a, a dumb mistake. Okay, let's check the sentence. Here we go. Hernando, hello, Hernando. I was dumb once. I won't be the second time. I was dumb once. I won't be the second time. Do not repeat the same mistake. Do not repeat the same mistake. Do not repeat the same mistake. Okay, good. Here we go. Card number two. Oh, that's too long. Okay, here we go. Card number two for the quiz. Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. That's right, Tina. Don't hurt yourself though. Don't, don't, don't fall down. Don't hurt yourself, please. You can goof around but don't get hurt. You can goof around, but don't get hurt. Or don't hurt someone else. Don't hurt yourself or someone else. Okay. Do you remember the sentence? Okay, good everyone. Yeah, okay, this was no... <laughs> okay, let's check it out. Here we go, and the sentence is... That's a dumb idea. That's a dumb idea. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm going to do another short one. I'm kind of cheating right now. Okay. Here we go. Okay, here's our, our last card. Card number three. This is Lolly's card. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember Lolly's sentence? Card 
card number three. Good, Lolly. Yeah, Tina. Tina, does your mother say to you, don't play dumb with me? Yeah. Does your parents ever tell you, don't play dumb with me? <laughs> okay, good, Hernando. Umesh. Okay, let's check it out. Here we go. And the sentence is, maybe, <laughs> don't play dumb with me. Don't play dumb with me. No. Tell me the truth. Be honest. Don't play dumb. Be honest. Tell me the truth. <laughs> Okay, good job everyone. Yes, yes, yes. That was dictation cards by the green team. Yes, the green team did it. Okay, good job everyone. Now, that was, we've done one, we've done two, three, four. We got one more, right? We're doing five activities. Number five is, number five, ten, very short conversations. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna watch a video. We're gonna practice the language. Yeah. Okay. So let let's watch a video. Let's 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 say the sentences together. All right. Let's practice our speaking together with a video. Uh-oh. Uh. You ate spicy salt? Really, T Tina? Spicy salt? Just by itself? Wow, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, some sometimes I'll, I'll eat um, my wife's chocolate and she gets angry. So if my wife has her chocolate, I go, oh, it looks so delicious. And I'll eat it and she goes, Where's my chocolate? And I play dumb. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so sometimes I play dumb um, with, with my wife. <laughs> I can't help it. I see the chocolate, right? So my, my wife and my kids. So for me, I, if I buy chocolate, I eat it all. I can't save chocolate. But um, my wife and kids, they can... They can buy chocolate and just eat a little bit at a time, right? It'll be there for like two, three, four days. And I see it and I, I have to eat it. <laughs> and then they, they ask me, did you eat the chocolate? Oh, I don't know. Maybe Casper did it. <laughs> Maybe the cat ate it. Maybe Peanut ate the chocolate. Yeah, Tomas. So chocolate says, um, chocolate with chili is delicious. Yeah, so... Um, so, so uh, chocolate with, with spice is good. Chocolate and, and salt is good. I like chocolates. I like salted chocolate. That's good. Salted chocolate. Okay. Let's watch the video. Okay. Here we go. Ten very short conversations. Let's do it. And there it is. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to bring it up to full screen. All right. I'm going to bring it up to full screen. Oh, no, Tina. You're going to die. Don't do that, Tina. That's not good. F That's not good for you. That those ghost peppers are. I don't. That's crazy. Too, too, too hot. OK, here we go. Let's do. Let's do it. OK, let's practice together. Oops. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Set 18. I like running with you. I like running with you. I like running with you. I do too. I do too. I do too. I like running with you. I do too. Please give these to your family. Please give these to your family. 
please give these to your family. Great, I will. Great, I will. Great, I will. Please give these to your family. Great, I will. Let's go bowling. Let's go bowling. Let's go bowling. Sorry, I'm too tired. Sorry, I'm too tired. Sorry, I'm too tired. Let's go bowling. Sorry, I'm too tired. Uh, Tina, thank you very much, Tina. I appreciate your support. What kind of pie do you want? What kind of pie do you want? What kind of pie do you want? Apple, 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 apple. What kind of pie do you want? Apple. Do you have donuts? Do you have donuts? Do you have donuts? Sorry, we are sold out. Sorry, we are sold out. Sorry, we are sold out. Do you have donuts? Sorry, we are sold out. <laughs> onion pie. Okay, I'm gonna make a video with onion pie, Lolly. okay, for you. I'm gonna make a video for Lolly with onion pie. Can I help you? Can I help you? Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for socks. Yes, I'm looking for socks. Yes, I'm looking for socks. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for socks. You're welcome, Lolly. This tastes good. This tastes good. This tastes good. This, whoops. This looks awful. This looks awful. This looks awful. This tastes good. This looks awful. May I have another one? May I have another one? May I have another one? Yes, you may. Yes, you may. Yes, you may. Yes, you may. May I have another one? Yes, you may. Take three twice a day. Take three twice a day. Take three twice a day. Yes, I understand. Yes, I understand. Yes, I understand. Take three twice a day. Take three twice a day. Yes, I understand. Take three twice a day. Yes, I understand. Hello, Nada. Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? I prefer coffee. I prefer coffee. I prefer coffee. Which one do you prefer? I prefer coffee. Okay, here we go. Now let's play the video. We're going to roll it naturally. Here we go. Now it's your turn. I will go first. I will be the purple sentences. And you will go second. You will be the blue sentences. I like running with you. Please give these to your family.
Let's go bowling. What kind of pie do you want? <laughs> Lolly says. Do you have donuts? Can I help you? This tastes good. May I have another one? Take three twice a day. Which one do you prefer? Okay, let's switch. You will go first. You will be the purple sentences. And I will go second. I will be the blue sentences. I do too. Great, I will. Sorry, I'm too tired. Onion, no, apple, <laughs> berry, strawberry, banana. <laughs> Sorry, we are sold out. Yes, I'm looking for socks. This looks awful. Yes, you may. Yes, I understand. I prefer coffee. <laughs> Ava prefers tea. Okay, that was 10 very short conversations. Good job, everyone. You did it. Yeah, yeah. Great job. And, um, you know, I'm, we did the five activities. Fantastic. You're here for two hours with me. Thanks so much. That's, that's, that, that, you know, you guys are, are fantastic. Fantastic for being here with me for the whole time. So I really, really appreciate that. And um, what we do now because of the trouble in the world, we're, we send out peace and love. We, we give out, we think positively. We think about peace and love. We give out those vibrations. So let's do our one minute of silence to, to, um, 
to think about peace and love for the world. So let's do one minute of silence and think about peace and love. Give that powerful vibrations. Here we go. One minute of peace and love. Okay, that was one minute. Mwah. Peace and love, everyone. Thank you for being here with me. Great job. I will be back tomorrow. Okay, this time tomorrow, I'm in Japan, so it'll be Saturday morning. Today, it's Friday, so I started at 10, Friday until 12, Friday. <laughs> Two hours today. Tomorrow, Saturday, start at 10 and finish at 11, one hour. So tomorrow is one hour. So we will do worksheets tomorrow and so please come back and let's do those worksheets tomorrow and um peace and love Mwah. and thanks so much and green team thank you for your kind kind support yeah so you see the members their names are in green they support me they support the channel so Mwah. big big kisses Mwah. big hugs for the green team thank you so much and um if you like my videos and my content. Please support me so I can support you. Help me so I can help you. So please join the friendly green team. Yes, if you join the green team, your name will be in green. Just like Ava, just like Lama, just like Lolly, like Tomas, like Marion, like Ava, and everyone else on the green team. Um, so Air Lady, just like that. So everyone, Thank you so much, and um, I will be I will be back tomorrow. So so I hope to see you. So in the meantime, have a nice day, have a nice evening, have a nice night wherever you are. And again, peace and love to you and your family. Okay, so let's say goodbye together. Let's count down together to say goodbye. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three. Two, one. Okay, thank you. I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye. Love and peace. Bye-bye.